Hey everybody. Hi. It's Sunday. Another uh, live show, live Sunday show. And I'm excited to see some of my favorite friends here for at the very first. Uh, there's Martha. She just came in and Cindy and Kathleen and Sally and Chris. Thank you so much for coming. Um, yeah, I got some pretty uh, stuff to show. I got new stuff. So that's cool. I found out something last night I wanted to share, which I didn't know this before. Um, people have said that they didn't get my um, notifications. I really didn't realize that, like, in order for people to get your notifications, it's best to create your live event, like, hours beforehand. And here I just come home from church and just you know, quickly do my live event. And it's usually like, I usually create it like no sooner than an hour beforehand. So I'm going to have to do that like Saturday nights and you'll see it then. And then you'll get the notification. And I see my friend Kim Durs in here and Joe and uh, Layla. Hey, and Jennifer. So does that help anybody? And Cheryl, because that helped me. I mean, I didn't realize that. I know, I know lots of people say, hey, I didn't get the notification until just now, and the show's about over. So, yeah, I'm going to do that Saturday nights. So you'll see my, you know, live event. Uh, and then, you know, maybe you'll get the notification on time. Pamela's here, too, and Nadine and Kathleen. Oh, my goodness. This is great. Yeah, that helps. Okay, Kim. I did not know that. So I hope that me saying that helps other people too. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I won like a trivia uh, contest. You know how some people do their shows and they'll have like a, you know, some little trivia thing and you can win stuff. Well, I was on Anita Fanita's channel. She was, she had just like a live, I think an impromptu little show or something. And I never win anything, but I won. <laughs> so she, this happened to be some Christmas ornaments. And so there was a whole, this whole big box of Christmas ornaments. Yeah. the whole I mean, a lot of them. And uh, I'll show them to you. I'll show them to you if if you want me to. What did you say, Pamela? Did you say lice in the chat, but you meant live? Lice, you're going to make me itchy. <laughs> um, hey, Belinda. Anyway, it, on top of that box, there was another little package. And I'm like, what could this be? And guess what she sent me? She sent me some Monet. I was like, oh my gosh, made my day, made my week. She sent me some beautiful Monet pieces along with what I won, along with really cool um, Christmas pieces. So I'll, if you want me to, I'll show you the Christmas ornaments, but I'll show you the Monet she sent me. And I was like, oh, she didn't have to do that. But you know, everybody knows I love Monet. <laughs> and I'm like, so, I was so tickled. Carmen's here and Jerry's here and Mary Luce is here. My friend from Chile. Hi, Mary Luce. Hugs. I don't know how you say that. Abruzzes. Hugs in Spanish. I've been trying to learn some of that Spanish, but I'm not good at it. And uh, who else? Did I miss anybody? If I missed anybody, hi. Yeah, that was so nice. So nice. So there was three different Monet pieces. One of them's in my book. Uh, this little owl is in my book. Do you remember that owl? It's called uh, one of the Monet Menagerie. Is like this collection of Monet pins and stuff that they came out with in the 60s. I think it was the 60s or the 70s. But isn't he cute? He's got the green eyes. Now, I remember Cindy um, loves jewelry. She had this same owl, I think, on her auction. So I don't know. Maybe Anita got it there. I'm not sure. But this little guy, I remember when I saw it on Cindy's, I was like, oh, he is so cute. I just love him. I love him so much. 
Abrazos, Abrazos. Okay. I'm not, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Abrazos, everybody. Um, yes, she does, doesn't she, Layla? Uh, Layla said that uh, Sally has the best videos and teach discoveries. Um, look at this piece. Isn't this cool? I love this. I don't have my black background, but I have my black background, kind of. So that's really cool. I thought that would be in the book, but it's not in the book. But it is cool. There's some that are similar to this, and I think they're part, probably part of the same collection. But that's a neat piece. That is a neat piece. And then these hoop earrings, which are really pretty. They're textured. Bianca's here. Bianca's here. These are these are so pretty. Love the texture of them. They're just really nice. So nice wearable size and a nice uh, design on them. And then she sent me a little Sarah Coventry piece. This has got to be an older piece too. I got to look this up in my book. Just a little mouse, little tiny mouse with a little dangle in there where his eye is, I guess. Little articulated dangle inside there. So that is so cute too. And it's you know textured. Can everybody see okay? Is the am I holding this stuff up at the right spot and everything? Thanks. Yeah, it, it does suit me. I'm I'm I was tickled with all of it. Really tickled with everything. So is it close is close better or is like further away better? And just let me know what, what you think is. I should do there. So then, okay, then into the, you wanna see jewelry or you wanna see, okay, good. Oh, Debbie and Max is here. Uh, it could be a dangled birthstone. There's no st stone in there though. It's just a little, um, there's, it's not, it's nothing's missing there. It's just a little disc. It's just a little disc. There's nothing missing. So close is better. Okay. Barb's here. Barb, did you see how many people were here before you? You were not number one. You're falling down on the job, girl. <laughs> Heather's here. Hi, Heather. Jewelry, please. Okay. So you guys seen enough Christmas ornaments, but just let, let you know, she sent me some really cool ornaments. Okay, so I might have bought some jewelry, some new stuff, because I wanted to show you new stuff, plus I I just had a hankering for something new, and um, I got some really good deals, so let me show you what I got. I got a, I had a disappointing thing happen, but it turned out okay. Oh, you're getting ready for the auction. That's tonight, right? Um... Isn't that tonight? I'm going to show all the ornaments, too. <laughs> I'll do that at the end, if, if anybody's still here and if I have time. So I bought this really uh, great lot of a few things, and it was a very good price on uh, eBay. And it was only like, uh, how many things was it? One, two. I don't think they're all laying here, are they? Okay, that was this. And it was this and that. Seems like there was another thing. I should have kept them all together. It seemed like it was four things, but I have three things right here. But the important thing is right here. So these were sent to me. And like I said, I got a really good price on them. These earrings are Monet. They're so super cool. I just love them, love them, love them. Aren't they neat? And I thought for sure they'd be in my book, but they aren't in my book. I thought they would be in there, uh, but they're not. 
but I love those. I love dangles. I know Debbie loves dangles too. Debbie, there's something coming in the mail for you. Hi, Mary. Um, and then there was this, just a plain, plain nice bangle. I really think there was like one other thing besides this, but there was this nice box chain, which it was broke. And the reason why it was broke was because it came in a plastic baggie. This jewelry came in a plastic baggie in a brown envelope with absolutely no packing, no bubble wrap, nothing, just a baggie with this jewelry in it. And I, when I got it out of the mailbox, I just cringed. I was like, no and you know it was some guy's name so you know the guy probably wasn't a seller of jewelry he didn't know what he was doing so uh i messaged him i said i really you know thanks for the quick shipping and everything i said since there was no bubble wrap however this necklace broke and i sent him a picture of it i really thought it was broke for good but it wasn't. I, I was able to fix it. But not after, not till after I sent him the picture and everything, I looked at it and I thought, well, I think I can fix it. It's not going to be the same though. But anyway, I, I asked him for a partial refund and he sent me all of it back. He sent me the whole thing back. So I sent essentially got everything free. So I love I love box uh I love box link necklaces. They're about my favorite, the box links. So that was a super good deal. Free. Free is always good. I feel like I was just babbling there. I'm sorry. Um, and then uh, Heather says eBay's the bomb. And then I got some other things on eBay that I, I got really good deals on, I think. I love these I love these Joan Rivers earrings that I got. These are like, these are called, uh, well, she called them uh, Fabergé egg earrings. See all the uh, texture on those? Aren't they pretty? Just a lot of leaf texture, a lot of gold. Florentine texture and leaf texture, a lot of detail. And they came in the vintage box, you know, so they're really, really nice. Joan Rivers earrings. They'll be nice to put in my shop. I like those. Yeah, they're really detailed. They're neat. And from the same girl, I got this Joan Rivers. Um, necklace that the picture didn't do it justice and when i got it i thought oh it's so much prettier than the picture was um it's like a real pale pink the beads are the one of the beads is like dark pink and one's like a paler pink and then there's a rondelle in there with rhinestones and the rhinestones are light pink so it's a real long necklace and uh, a really nicely made necklace. It's got the Joan Rivers older hang tag on it. And uh, yeah, that's nice. Really nicely made silver and pink. Like a blush pink. If you can see that. Really pretty. So I'm happy with that. And did I get something else from her? Yeah, I got this pin from her. Hey, Carla. Hope you're doing better today. Hope you are you had a good rest and you're feeling better today. I was thinking about you. Uh, oh, you're going to hate me, Angie. Why? What do you do? What are you talking about? I'm going to hate you, Barb. What are you talking about? <laughs> You have a classy taste, darling. Are you talking about me? <laughs> I love this. I love this pen. So pretty. It's a dogwood and it has this enamel and gold on it. 
and it's signed on the back. Um, C E R R I T O, Cerrito. Barb, why am I going to hate you? You're going to have to explain that. Isn't that pretty? I think that's really neat. I, I just think the the enamel is really different the way it's like, you know, it's cream and then it has this like a orange on the on the edges. Your jars are full of your favorites. Barb, I just spent a lot of money. I mean, not on this, but I mean, I I just I donated some money and I just did did, you know, I just I, I took a lot of money out of my PayPal. <laughs> Did you, yeah, did you make them, Barb? Barb made them, I'm sure. I'm sure she made them up. But she she doesn't care for Monet. She likes Trafari. I heard her say she's a Trafari girl, so I'm sure she put Monet in those jars. This is cute. I made this. I just got this uh, pendant. The pendant was all I got, and I put it on this uh, long chain. Which I think it's pretty. Hey, Swampy. I don't think she has it. I might get her. Oh, okay. You guys are talking to each other. Um, so the thing with this pendant is it's actually gold tone, but the gold tone has has a lot of uh wear. You know how sometimes you'll see that gold tone and and it's for one thing, it's really pale to begin with. And then a lot of it just kind of paled away into almost silver tone, but it still looks nice. That's the case with this. So I put it on a silver tone chain. And you can see, and these are these aren't real crystals or anything. I just love that I just love the design. It's like a bunch of grapes, right? And then you can see by the back that it was gold tone. See? But you can't see by the front. The front is more silver tone looking than gold tone. I just think it's cool. I think it looks good on there. I think it looks better on the silver chain than it would on the gold chain. And uh, I just, you know, me and my dingle dangles. <laughs> I love the dingle dangles. Yes, yeah, grapes. It's a bunch of grapes is what it is. So oh, I think that's cute. And then this is very, very pretty. Mixed metal is all good. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, great to wear to wineries. Yeah, that would be good to wear to a winery. Look at this watermelon uh, rhinestone. Isn't this great looking? Isn't this pretty? I made this too. I didn't make the stone, but I put, put this... I paired the chain up with this stone. Isn't that stone pretty? Who's leaving? Somebody's leaving. See you later, whoever's leaving. Isn't this a pretty stone? I just love those watermelon stones. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Now, what I did with the back, it was very, very worn on the back. And it's signed Roma, R-O-M-A, not Roman, but R-O-M-A. I actually used my pen. I used my gold pen on the back of this because it was, you know, it wasn't like corroded or anything, but it was just the finish was just faded, right? So I used my pen on it, and I think it turned out really good. I didn't have to use it on this the stone. You see the stone is a foiled stone. But um I like the way it turned out. It looks really, really good. And it just it's just a really nice piece. I'll be happy to put that in my shop too. I just really love that piece. It's really nice. Hi new kitty. So those were, those might be my favorites, but, but I got some great stuff. I do have some great stuff. Some different kind of things. You know how I like 
different things? Well, I got some different things. You got the pen. It's great. Did you, New Kitty? I I really am glad. Now I'm going to get the, this is the, um, well, this is the 18 carat. Well, I must need the 24 carat then because this 18 carat is like, I need a goldy, goldy one, you know, like the real gold. But this is like a matte, almost like a matte gold. It's not the the yellow, yellowy gold that sometimes you need, you know. So I want to get a darker, deeper gold one. So I'm on the lookout for one of those. It's not cheating if you're honest about it. That's right. Yeah, and I will be. I will be. These. Look at these babies. See what that says on there? Or can't you read? Is it backwards? It says, Sarah Coventry, 1961, Starburst. And I thought for sure these should be called like Sunflower or something, but they're called Starburst. Aren't they cool? I'm going to put them on my black thing. Here, wait. <coughs> I'm going to snap them on here. You'll be able to see them better. Oh, my gosh. They're cool. Glenn, oh, your dad's back in the hospital. Oh, prayers, Glenn. Oh. Keep us updated, okay? Put it on uh, Facebook then, okay? Hi, Bambi. Yes. Yeah, keep us updated, please. Everybody's concerned. Okay, look at these. Aren't they beautiful? They have, uh, they're in really good shape for 1961. This part here is uh, like a plastic, and then it has like gold tipped, I guess, gold tips. Uh, and it's, you see how the light can shine through that, like that? Oh, they're so pretty. They're so cool. I just like looking at them. Um, they've got to be one of my favorite Sarah Coventry pieces, um, items. Ooh, let's look at them, see what they look like. And they're really, I mean, they're really good shape for 1961. My goodness. They're really nice. <laughs> yep. Yep, I got some earrings on. I love them too. They look like sunflowers to me, but they're called Starburst. And they and I, I found them on the uh, amazing uh, jewelry website. That's how I knew they were 1961, Sarah Coventry. And I have a very good customer, a very nice dear friend, and uh, she's on vacation, but I think she came home yesterday. So hi, Etta, if you're watching. And I found some coin earrings, and I know she loves coins. And these are really nice. These are really, really nice. Mm, kind of getting the glare on there. Let's see. Can't see them very good. They're very detailed. I think they're they're France. Uh Republic Francaise. Yeah. If that's how you say it, France. You were uh France or uh, Carla. Yeah, this they these are really nice. So very nice quality and that's the back of them. So, yeah, there was a small lot of earrings that I got from another person in this and the starburst and those coins were in it and also some really big 
big, 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 big earrings. <laughs> oh, oh, you say, you say you like big earrings. I got them. <laughs> I got so much photographing to do. You do have photographing to do. Oh, you like big earrings? These things. These things are. Yeah. What do you think of these? <laughs> I just. I don't know. I just get it such a kick out of big earrings. It's not like I would ever in a million years wear them, but it's like I just get a giant kick out of them. And I just love them. They're my favorite thing ever. <laughs> and they're just, they, these are actually lightweight. They're, they're not really, and they must be really old. This, this thing here is just disintegrating. It's just falling up. That's, there's a pad there and it's just powdery falling apart. I haven't cleaned them. Well, I did kind of go over the front of them, but I didn't go over the backs or anything, but those things are old and fabulous old and fabulous now they only have rhinestones on the one side there and then there's this is like bumps over here so it does, nothing's missing nothing's missing then we got this little prune up here <laughs> got this little wad of chewing gum up here or something but that they're really cool i love those those belong on, on the Christmas tree. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> Ooh la la. Oh, Maurice here. I double dog dare you to wear them to church. <laughs> I would, and people, would, people wouldn't say anything. They'd just say, oh, bless your heart. Look at you. <laughs> no, they wouldn't say a word. They wouldn't say a word. <laughs> Hurry, you're funny. <laughs> uh, okay, that's your stuff, Layla. I got another pair. I got another pair. Oh, this is fun. I'm having fun today. <laughs> oh, these are cute too. These are these are neat too. I mean, look at that. These are neat. I mean, may, I don't know. Do you like these better or do you like the other ones better? The other ones were really goth looking, but these are kind of goth looking too, with the wired beads. They're cool. I like them. Put them to sale will run to Fitch. LOL. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, bye, Kim. Thanks for coming. Have a blessed day too. Yeah, they're big. They're big too. But they're groovy. Look how groovy they are. I like them. See, you could probably wear those to church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I got a necklace like that with but orange beads. I think I saw that necklace, Cindy. I think I did. Um, these are pretty. These were uh, part of it. And I, I think these are really nice. These will sell. I like them. They're, they're another case of the gold turned silver. But I still like the look of them. You know, at one time they were a pale, pale gold tone. Now they... Now they look silver tin, but that's okay. See the back of them that looks kind of gold tin. But um, you know, the the only thing is when you go to list these, what do you say? Do you say used to be gold tin, now they're silver? <laughs> how do you how do you, what do you say? What would you guys say? I don't know. Oh, is Anita here? Is Anita here? I didn't see her come in. Hi, San Juana. I like those anyway. Um, so tell me what how you would 
if you would in the chat as a modified item how would you say that these are now you know i'm not going to do anything to them so i'm not going to modify them i'm not going to paint these or anything the gold tone has faded to more of a uniform silver tone Ooh, that's good jennifer i like that i want to make it sound pretty because you know in fact it is pretty um yeah yeah i want to make it sound good because i think it i think they look nice myself i kind of like it yeah that's good jennifer <laughs> pam says what jennifer said <laughs> uh hi Shali, Shahid. And now you have me from Egypt and one from Morocco. You're global. Oh, good. That's neat. Welcome. Welcome, Egypt and Morocco. That's very cool. These are some dangles. They were also in there. They're in very nice condition. I love earrings. They're my favorite. You probably already know. Earrings are my favorite. And then the one lot that I got, these actually say 14 carat. So the lot, so these paid for the whole lot. Um, I'm still going back and forth though. I, I'm going to have to test them because I'm just not sure. They, they look 14 carat and they say it on the posts, but they don't really, they feel like they have some kind of coating on them. And they almost look like they might be plated, but it doesn't say plated on the earring or anything. It just says 14 karat. So I, I don't know. I just have a funny, I just have a funny feeling. I'm not sure. But in any case, they're very, very nice. The, uh, the posts say 14 karat, the backs say 14 karat, and they're really pretty. Well, it could be, Bianca. Maybe they did. You, th you think those look like gold? Yeah, they, yeah, they do kind of look like gold. I guess they do. They're very, very pale, though. Oh, are you, are you talking about these? <laughs> yeah, they do look like gold. They do. So, I don't know. They look, they feel everything, but except they just, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna test those. Then there was these. I, I really these are very very old. They're screw back. I thought the colors were very interesting in them. Uh, you know I don't really I haven't really sold any screw back or listed any screw back, but I really just wanted to show you these because of the colors. The colors are really really pretty neat. It's almost like a pale pink. Uh, the um, I was going to say citrine, but that's not citrine. Uh, topaz color, and then the pale green, and then the pearl. And see how old they are? See the backs? They're very old. So I thought those colors were neat. Yeah. Cartier style earrings, these or those other gold ones? Okay, I think. I think I got that box. Um, I got some seashell earrings that that are very cute. I used the gold pen on these because this right here was pretty worn, pretty like darkened. The, the gold tone was darkened, that ball. So I put the pen, I used the pen on there and on this one finding, the first finding there. The rest of it was really good. And they're really cute little seashell earrings, real shell with the gold dipped trim. Oh, so maybe there was a, a troll. <coughs> the other the other one thing that was in there that wasn't an ornament, I forgot to show you, was these. My favorite, another thing that was my favorite, love these, little praying hands. 
I'm going to put that up on my shelf. Up there on my shelf with my jewelry um, tree. It'll just fit on that little shelf. It's really, really cute. Anita sent me. Anita, are you here? If you're here, say something. Because I want to thank you again for the wonderful Monet pieces and, the, and all those cute ornaments you sent me. So how do you describe after you use the gold marker? I haven't had to do it yet, but I'm just going to... I'm going to plan on saying that uh, um, I don't know yet. I'm going to say something like uh, there were there was fading or um, wear or fading or discoloration or patina to the gold tone, uh, which I carefully. Uh, used a an 18 karat gold leaf pen to go over it or something. I don't know. I'll try to make it sound a little more professional than that. I'll have to think about what I'm going to say, but I'll just say that you know I I did a, a good job on it and uh, and I think it should last or something like that. Layla doesn't like shells. Minor go gold tone fading touched up. Jennifer. Come work for me. <laughs> Jennifer has a way with words. Thank you, Jennifer. Touched up with 18 karat marker. Well, that's to the point, too. Yeah, that's to the point, too. Um, I guess I don't have to, you know, be so precise or so, you know, I don't have to worry about it. Just say what I did. Say what I did and leave it at that, huh? <laughs> Jennifer said, okay, she's going to come work for me. Okay, this is cool. It's glass. Do you hear my, my chair squeaking? It needs some oil or something. All the stones are oh, chips are glass. And then this is like a, like a milky, iridescent, big glass pendant. That's cool, right? I think it's neat. Thank you, Layla. Uh, just kind of looks like you're looking in some water, maybe. Not really water. I don't know. Like a pool or something. It's part A. Tracy's here. Hi, Tracy. Hope you're doing okay. I hope Tony's okay today. I hope he's feeling okay today. Hope the treatments are going okay. Okay, Jennifer says she loves it. She loves it. It's really, it's really different. Really different and really cool. I guess somebody made it, right? It's got a silver bead right there. And then it's, you know, it's real smooth though. It's faceted, but it's real smooth. And then it has this the screw barrel clasp like that. Yeah, it's neat. Very neat. Very different. Depending on the light, it changes color. Yeah. Reflecting pool. Okay, yeah. I need that. Mary needs it. It's very unusual. <laughs> See, that's what I like to get. I like to get things that are just really different. All this squeaky chair is driving me crazy. <coughs> Let's see here. Yeah, I got a lot of necklaces in this lot. This is a very cute one. That little guy. He's a little amber mouse. A little amber and some rhinestone eyes. He's cute. Real mid-century. He's a Sarah Coventry piece, too. I didn't look him up. I have to look him up in my book. <clears throat> you didn't get the notification? Okay, I, I learned something about the notifications, Debbie. And hi, Debbie. Uh, I have to put them out like Saturday night. I have to do them Saturday night. That way you'll get them. If you, don't, if you do them like an hour beforehand or even like, you know, 
if, if you do them around that time, you, people don't get them in time. So I just found that out. So, yeah, it's a mouse or a kitty. Shalid, no one sells global. Go to listing in Etsy on eBay. Isn't that a cat? Oh, yeah, it is a cat, Debbie. I'm sorry. It is a cat. Cat, a mouse, whatever. <laughs> All the same. No, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> uh, these are cool. These are some Debbie-type earrings. Dangles. I like those. Sit still. Stay still. They have a nice blue bead on them. They're cute. They're pretty. Dangles. <laughs> Is anyone listing their um, Christmas jewelry? I got really cute Christmas jewelry I need to list, I guess. Like these. These I just got in that lot. I really like these. These are very old, very cute, and oh darn, missing a stone. Shoot, missing a little rhinestone. In the top of the tree on this one here, there's missing a rhinestone, but they're so cute. Obviously vintage, really cute. There's a little stone missing right there. Dang it. I really like those. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny stone. Got one piece listed and sold it immediately. Ooh, that's great. Hi, Kim Webster. And hi, Jill. And here's some other little Christmas trees. The little faux pearls. Is this a common Avon piece? Seems like I might have seen it before, but it's really pretty. I like it. Avon butterfly. You're sorting many pounds, mostly repair items right now by color. Oh, okay. Does anyone have this uh, Avon piece? That's pretty. I like that. Silver and uh, silver and gold. It's a nice size. It's pretty. Debbie's never seen it. And Mary's never seen it. A Heidi Doss poinsettia ring. Wow. That sounds expensive. Here's another little uh, butterfly. Is that backwards? Open work. Open work butterfly. And it's kind of layered. Gold tone, layered. You have to look for your Christmas box. I have some Halloween ones, but you're not ready to give them up yet. It's kind of getting late for Halloween, I guess. Avon, but really thinking Avon has some nice pieces. Hey, bunch of carrots. I missed you coming in. How are you? Hi, Jan. Oh, these are cute. Like these elephants. They're like scatter pins. And they have the gold on them and then the, the faux tortoise that you can see through. And one of them has this kind of back. And the other one has the regular pin back, like that. So they're real cute. They're not signed or anything, but they're cute. Really nice chain. Got some Monet stuff in this lot, too. You sold an Avon piece last week. Oh, yeah, that heart. That was nice. I like that heart. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you guys what I sold. I, I got four things going out tomorrow. 
I like that chain. That's really pretty. Different. Just a just a regular chain. It's cute. Keyword heart of the ocean is apparently really popular. Oh, wonder why. Is that something to do with a movie or something or heart of the ocean? It's too bright. Oh, and I got these cute little Trafari. These these make me think they're really old. Just the the style of them. Um, I don't know if you can see them very good, but they're like maybe celluloid or vintage plastic of some kind and they're a flower like a carved flower and they have gold leaves at the bottom can you see them they're probably a lot cuter in person than you can see them here but they're crown tafari and they're really different i'm gonna like to put those in my shop too they're really cute Necklace in the movie Titanic. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that's been on. The Titanic's been on here recently, hasn't it? Yeah, I like them too. They're aren't they cute? They're just they're really cute. The back of them's really nice too. But I think they're old. Something makes me think they're they're at least like 70s, 60s. I would say. Well, they have to be because they're crown, crown tafari. So. Got to be at least that old. These are these are neat, like atomic looking. They're cool, like those. Nice shape, simple design, but just pretty cool. Beautiful silver ring, Angie. I just noticed. Oh, thank you. The one with the marcasites. Yeah, I got that in a lot somewhere too. Some lot, sometime, some way, somehow. <laughs> you know, every time I get a lot, there's, there's something in there I want. So I just end up keeping something. This is pretty. I like that. It's very, very simple, but dressy. With the dingle dangles, which I love, dingle dangles. It's really nice. It's cold today. Yeah, it's cold here too. Oh my gosh. I didn't wear a coat to church and I about froze. It was cold in church too. But I didn't know what to what to wear. Yeah, delicate. I really like these. These are cool. These are really cool. I bet you'll like these, Carla. These are like, I think that might be Murano glass or some kind of art glass in there. They're spinner, like, you know, they, this, this bead goes around in there. Are they hard to see? I don't know. Bead goes around like that, and that's what they look like. I'm not showing this stuff very good. Looks like a little container of pepper <laughs> in a bead. <laughs> I know, I like the glass too. I think it's really neat. I like the I like the way they um, have the open open work, the open, and then with the bead, and then the bead goes around. I'll just, I just think the design of this is so pretty. Gustavo Trafari, an Italian designer, opened a shop in USA since 1920. Okay, thank you. Flame worked beads. Ooh, flame worked beads. Writing that down. Thank you. Thanks, new kitty. Have to look that up. I never heard of that actually. So the 
so it's like the center of them has this flame work in them and then it's then it's clear glass on the outside because that's what it looks like the crazy lamp lady i saw that she she had a first jewelry jar i i haven't watched it yet but i saw that she had her first jar i'm gonna have to watch it um, I I subscribed to her because you told me to, and I haven't. I have I watched like a couple minutes of her, and I didn't watch any more of her. But I am gonna have to watch. Hand blown. Okay. Hi, Priscilla. These are cute. Feather with a rhinestone. Very nice condition. Pierced earrings. Not signed up. I don't know. They might be Avon. I don't. I don't see any signature on them though. But they're really nice. Oh, I like these little fan earrings. She's a famous metal detectorist. I think someone who has a watch to sell wants. The box. I bet you Casey would like these. These are geisha inspired little fan with some design on them. Those are pretty, right? Okay, I'm not big on cameos, but this one's really different in the fact that it's a heart. It's got this bar link chain and this heart pendant with the cameo in it. Cameo is not real. Um, I think it's resin or something, but it's pretty design. The heart is etched, has etching on it. The bar link chain. You like cameos, Jennifer. These are cute. Some newer, I guess, flower, little flower dangle earrings on a piece of abalone, I guess. A piece of shell. You found a real cameo today? Oh, did you go to Savers or somewhere today? You made it out in the car, did you? I'm glad to hear that. Another one of these type of faux, faux turquoise pendants. Pretty much a dime a dozen type pendants, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. I'm going to show you something different. What can I show? A little purple set. Purple earrings. And this, this must be a jewelry making thing. I love the fans. I do too. Um, the fan, or the, um, this must be a jewelry making thing. This is, this is not chain, it's like thread. It's like a thread, which is good for people that have allergies. And then uh, has these beads on it. So it makes me think somebody made this little set. It's very cute though. I like it.
This is a Monet, a Monet pendant on a Sarah Coventry chain. So it's too bad that it does, it's not on a Monet chain, but the Coventry chain is a nice chain and it does look nice with it. Looks really good with it, so that's good. And it's a silver tone, which is harder to find. And this is a, this is a Monet too. It's a little, just a little beaded chain, a shorter chain. I have to look in my book. I didn't look in my book for this one or that other one. I really have to say I enjoy, I really get a kick out of finding stuff in my book. Uh, yeah, I love these pieces. This is a Napier, might be in my book. I That book is so huge and I it just amazes me that I can't find a single thing that I have in there. Uh, I, like I said, I found stuff that I sold in there, and I found my wheat earrings, and that's set in there, but just it just doesn't have as much stuff in that that I've that the Monet has that I have, if that makes any sense. This is a pretty Napier, though. It's really pretty. I like the way the pearls are on there, kind of just juxtaposed. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice Napier. Feels feels like quality. And then there was just this little um, V, which on the bail it says Monet. So it's just a V. It's, I guess it's just a charm. And this I think I've been on an hour. I have. I will cut it off soon. Um this is a very this is a pretty old uh, Sarah Coventry, I think. Um it's signed Sarah on this type of a clasp. Sarah is written in script. And uh, it's it's in it's not in bad shape. It's really different the chain. Um, I'll have to see if I can find it in my Sarah book. Yeah, as soon as I'm done with this box, I guess I'll I have a few things left in the box, and then I'll cut it off for next week, and I have another box for next week. <laughs> and I have a lot. Uh, I have a, a haul to show you. Sometime through the week, I'll just make a video, like I'll tape a video of the of the haul that I got at the thrift store that is not jewelry. It's like um, sitting back here. It's an Anye, an Anye purse. It's a hat. It's a wooden basket. It's some uh, uh, picture frames and some stuff that I'll make a little video and show you this week. I'll just make it taped video. These are very old screwbacks. I think I'll just put all my screwbacks together sometime and list them in a lot. Unless they're really special ones like wedding cake beads or something like that or something that I think is, you know, morning jewelry or something like that. Which I do have some pretty cool morning jewelry earrings oh I like these these are kind of cool they're just enamel but they're like speckled enamel and they have the red they look very 80s to me and uh, they're cool. I like that.
like those a lot. And just a bunch of these like stone type earrings. These might be jade chips, I don't know, or you know, one of those other type of they're pretty though, aren't they? I like those. I like the design of those. Is that like an amethyst down there? Or what is that? It looks like a deep purple stone, maybe. Not sure what that stone is on the end. But I kind of like those. I think they'd sell on their own. Those are cool. Uh, you have some good stuff in this haul, Angie. Good job. Thanks. I think so, too. Especially if those earrings turn out to be 14 karat, which I have to check. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff in this. This was like $38 altogether, shipped and everything. Um, so I have another whole box full of stuff um, to show. So, so I think I'm going to cut it off for now and uh, let you guys go and get some things done. Debbie said it looks like jade. Okay, good. Hope it is. Um, I will let you go. And thanks for um, coming. Thanks for sh uh, showing up today. And uh, y'all have a blessed day. And I will do, how do you know if it's real jade and how do I check? I have a friend actually, and she's on here. Um, she knows a lot about stones. And I'll probably send her a close-up picture. And she can probably tell me. Um, I did, I was at a jewelry store or an antique store one day and I asked the lady if she would know Jade if she saw it and she said yeah and then then what she did was I, I showed her the piece and she went like this she went oh, oh it's it's uh cool yeah it's Jade and I'm like no that's not the only test that's like my test that's like an amateur test <laughs> that's you know I didn't say that but I'm thinking I I already did that I went more <laughs> I need more definitive testing than that. <laughs> hey, okay. I love you too, sister. I think you, if you were talking to me, but I do, uh, I love you all. So I will see you soon. Take care. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.